As we kick off the inaugural episode of the Eco Fun Channel's morning show, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of our viewers. Your support fuels our passion, and we're thrilled to have you on this eco-conscious journey with us. Your engagement means the world to us, and we genuinely value your comments and input. We encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Whether it's a show idea, a topic you'd like us to explore, or a dedication you have in mind, your suggestions hold immense significance. We're here to listen, and we make it a point to respond to as many comments as possible. If you're seeking advice or viewpoints from our characters, Rachel, Alex, and Jack, don't hesitate to let us know. We're more than happy to have them share their personas and engage with your inquiries. And if you're curious about any aspect of green living, consider us your research partners. We're committed to delving into topics you're curious about and providing you with insightful information. Your input is invaluable, so if you have research or insights to contribute, please share those too. Collaboration is key in our shared mission to preserve and protect our planet. Let's come together, share our thoughts, knowledge, and ideas, and work towards a more sustainable future. Without further ado, let the show begin, and let's embark on this exciting and educational adventure together. Good morning, everyone. Today, we're diving into the topic of green living in the urban landscape. Specifically, how can young adults have a fun night out on the town while being conscious of their environmental impact? Let's explore some ideas for Rachel and Jack to weigh in on. Rachel, as the urban eco-activist, what are your thoughts on this? Good morning, Alex. Well, first of all, I believe that having a fun night out on the town doesn't have to mean sacrificing our green values. One great idea is to ditch the car and opt for public transportation or ride-sharing services. Not only does this reduce emissions, but it also allows us to fully enjoy the night without having to worry about parking. Plus, it's a great opportunity to explore the city and experience different neighborhoods. So hop on a bus or train and let the adventure begin. What do you think, Jack? What do you... I appreciate the idea of using public transportation, Rachel. It's definitely a more environmentally friendly option compared to driving. However... I have a practical concern. In some cities, the public transportation system may not be as efficient or accessible as we'd like it to be. I think it's essential to consider the reliability and convenience of public transportation options when encouraging people to use them for a night out. We need to ensure that it's a viable and enjoyable alternative. I totally agree, Jack. Accessibility and convenience are crucial when it comes to public transportation. That's why it's important for cities to invest in improving their public transportation infrastructure by expanding routes, increasing frequency, and implementing innovations like electric buses. We can make public transportation a more attractive and reliable option for young adults to have a fun night out while reducing their carbon footprint. Let's not forget, taking public transportation can add an element of adventure and unpredictability to our urban escapades. It's like a mini urban safari. Speaking of adventure, what are your thoughts, Alex? I love the idea of turning a night out into an urban safari, Rachel. And I agree, investing in public transportation infrastructure is crucial. However, for those situations where public transportation might not be readily available or convenient, another option for young adults is to seek out eco-friendly venues and activities within walking or biking distance. Urban areas often have a plethora of green-minded establishments. I appreciate your point, Alex. Seeking out eco-friendly venues and activities within walking or biking distance is a great idea. It promotes physical activity and reduces reliance on cars. However, I also want to emphasize the importance of balance. While it's excellent to support eco-conscious establishments, we shouldn't dismiss other local businesses solely based on their sustainability practices. We should encourage all businesses to adopt greener strategies and practices rather than just limiting our choices to a select few. By promoting awareness and encouraging businesses to implement eco-friendly measures, we can foster a more sustainable urban landscape for everyone. So, let's support green businesses while also encouraging others to join the movement. Rachel, I'd love to hear your thoughts on finding this balance. Absolutely, Jack. Finding a balance is key when it comes to promoting a sustainable urban lifestyle. We need to encourage all businesses to adopt eco-friendly practices, even if they may not be fully green yet. By supporting these businesses and providing feedback on their sustainability efforts, we can drive positive change and inspire others to take action. It's about promoting progress rather than perfection. And as young adults, we have the power to influence consumer demand and shape the market towards greener practices. So let's continue to have a fun night out on the town while also making a positive impact on our environment. 
Alex, any final thoughts? I couldn't agree more, Rachel and Jack. It's all about finding that balance and using our influence to drive positive change. Whether it's taking public transportation, seeking out eco-friendly establishments, or supporting businesses on their sustainability journey, every small action can make a big difference. So, young adults, let's have a fun night out on the town while being conscious of our environmental impact and inspiring others to join the movement. Thank you both for your insightful thoughts today. It's been a pleasure discussing green urban living with you. And thank you all for tuning in. Remember, together, we can create a more sustainable world. Stay tuned for more eco-friendly conversations on our show. Take care, everyone.